Welcome, Welcome home, home, my lady. lady. What? What are you gawping at? Oh, gods, please don't. It makes me feel like a spoiled princess. Lord Fortuno is not to hear of this visit. And I should also like the children to have their gifts, ere my husband makes his return. As you wish, my lady. Master Alfno, Mistress Alice, if you'd accompany me upstairs. We shan't be long. The twins have been sending letters home from time to time, recounting their latest adventures. I am sure they withhold certain details, of course, if only to keep me from worrying. Yet a mother worries all the same. In the early days especially, I tried to support them as best I could, sending the Scions coin and other such donations. Fortunately, they have found the strength to overcome adversity time and time again. Their words grow more confident with every letter, their depictions more vivid. The triumphs and defeats, the joys and sorrows, it is clear that they have come to find value in every experience. But of those they treasure most, it would seem that meeting you might be the most impactful. Why? Since that fateful day, I do believe there has not been a single missive in which you were not mentioned by name. <laughs> it is plain they care for you, and I am glad they have such a steadfast companion watching over them. Under normal circumstances, I would offer you tea, but alas, these are anything but. In any event, why don't you keep me company whilst we await my children's return? Perhaps you might regale me with a tale or two of your exploits. I wasn't sure what to expect. Mother, I... Oh, look how well it fits you. And the style is to your liking. It's perfect. Exactly what I would have chosen. But please, tell me you had something different made for Alphano. Naturally. You are hardly little children anymore. And while I shall miss dressing you in those precious matching outfits, I must respect the individuals you have grown to become. See for yourself. Thank you for the splendid clothes, Mother. Stylish, comfortable, and eminently practical. I am so glad you like them. 
They are, however, missing one final touch. If you would allow me, Master Alphano. Wait. Are these... Sage's tools of the trade. They belonged to your father. Though he may as well be chained to his desk these days, as a student he was often called upon to venture into the field. He wielded those armaments, both to heal and to harm in no few battles. None so fierce as those you two have braved, perhaps, but battles nonetheless. Thus did I pull them out of storage, to show you that he was not always the man who stands in vehement opposition to you now. <laughs> and also because it would be a terrible waste of ridiculously expensive House Leveilleur commissioned artistry. I am told these devices are quite difficult to master, but someone of your extensive experience should soon have them darting about with grace and aplomb. May the wisdom in that crystal serve you well. And please, try to find common ground with your father, that you might come and go without need for this awful subterfuge. We will, Mother. I promise. My final gifts to you, before you run off, are an observation and a suggestion. Firstly, Forshino has ever been a serious man, but it was only after you were born that he truly lost himself in his work. I may not know the forum's inner workings, but I know your father's. The timing of that change in him holds some significance. Secondly, do not seek to best your father with words. Far better that you simply show him. Let him discover the merit of your actions. After they cannot be undone. We shall take your wisdom to heart. Thank you again for these gifts, and farewell for now. Safe travels, my children. Eat well, stay warm, and keep your friends close.